welcome to our pharma topics channel uh, welcome to the fourth series on uh, the pharmacological and uh, toxicological screening methods in this video we will be uh, discussing about uh, anesthesia euthanasia and breeding of experimental or laboratory animals uh, let us see the common uh, anesthetics which are used in experimental uh, animals they are ketamine pentobarbitone thiopentone and urethane uh, you can note down the dose levels uh, whenever uh, needed the dose has been given for mouse rat hamster guinea pig rabbit cat dog and monkey they may be given uh, intraperitoneally or intravenous let us see some of the facts uh, related to anesthetics how is anesthesia checked before uh, conducting surgery in uh, laboratory animals the degree of anesthesia is checked by noting the loss of reflexes include which includes loss of writing reflex corneal reflex digital reflex in a sequential manner how is the depth of anesthesia monitored by noting the reflexes there is a loss of various reflexes as the degree of anesthesia increases in animals in the following order first one is palpebral reflex touching the eyelids causes a blinking uh, in the uh, whenever the anesthetic is working then the palp palpebral uh, reflex will be lost next is corneal reflex touching the cornea of eye with a tuft of cotton results in blinking this reflex will also be lost toe pinch reflex pinching the toe or foot web uh, is followed by withdrawal of the toe due to sensation of pain this toe pinch reflex will also be lost what are the other changes uh, that are introduced as a result of anesthesia one is muscle tone decreases as the depth of anesthesia increases unless the animal is receiving a cataleptic drug like ketamine rigid tone actually indicates inadequate depth of anesthesia the cardiopulmonary function decreases with increasing depth of anesthesia as the animal becomes uh, deeply anesthetized respiration and cardiac output decrease it results in poor blood oxygenation tissue perfusion and decreased blood pressure likewise the elevations in the heart rate and blood pressure may be indicating that the animal may be feeling pain and is anesthetized too lightly there is also a reduction in body temperature with the increase in depth of anesthesia what are the types of anesthetics that are preferred during retroorbital blood collection in mice uh, Propharacaine and tetracaine may be used as a local anesthetic uh, during retroorbital blood collection from the mice. One drop is put in the eye and the blood is withdrawn after 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, as per new guideline, the retroorbital uh, blood collection is not allowed nowadays. What is chlorolose? Chlorolose is a preferred surgical anesthetic for uh, cardiovascular experiments in dogs and cats. Respiration and uh, circulation are not depressed. Blood pressure is well maintained and reflexes are not depressed. Because of this, chlorolose is preferred in CVS experiments in the laboratory animals. It is prepared as 1% solution in 0.9% saline or in distilled water by heating to 60 degrees centigrade. And it is administered intravenously or intraperitoneally at a temperature of 30 to 40 degree centigrade. Uh, actually, chlorolose uh, precipitates at room temperature. That is why it has to be uh, heated at 30 to 40 degree centigrade before its administration. What is urethane? Urethane or ethyl carbamate is the most commonly employed anesthetic for pulmonary disease models. However, it disturbs thermoregulation. Therefore, uh, the anesthetized animals should be kept warm using heating pad or lamp. Urethane is used only for acute experiments. It can lead to delayed uh, liver toxicity. It can produce agranulocytosis and pulmonary adenomata. It's not suitable uh, for mice as these develop a high incidence of lung tumors. Why barbiturates are not preferred as anesthetics for cardiovascular studies? Barbiturates produce cardiorespiratory depression and hypotension. Pentobarbitone has a strong vagolytic action, so it's not preferred for evaluation of cardiovascular drugs. Let us see what is euthanasia. Euthanasia means sacrificing the animal or killing the animal where there is a rapid unconsciousness and subsequent death without or minimal pain or distress, minimal distress to the animal. There are two methods uh, of euthanasia. One is chemical method 
uh, the next one is physical methods chemical methods involves the use of inhalants such as carbon dioxide nitric nitrous oxide ether halothane enfluorine and non irritant uh, uh, injectables include uh, barbiturates potassium chloride and magnesium sulfate the physical methods which are allowed are cervical dislocation and decapitation what are the physical methods which are not preferred for euthanasia it is exsanguination rapid freezing pitting decompression hyperthermia hypothermia asphyxia drowning and strangulation what are the chemical methods which are not preferred for euthanasia carbon monoxide uh, nitrogen nitrous oxide chloroform cyclopropane hydrogen cyanide magnesium sulfate strychnine chloral hydrate and ethanol some of the above chemicals are not recommended for euthanasia because they are extremely noxious and dangerous to the experimenter you can uh, see from this uh, table uh, what are allowed and what are not allowed in case of uh, inhalant chemicals the inhalants which are allowed are carbon dioxide carbon dioxide plus halothane carbon dioxide plus uh, chloroform which are not accepted uh, chemicals are ether argon flushing nitrogen flushing the injectable uh, techniques which are allowed are uh, barbiturates ketamine sodium pentothal the injectables which are not allowed uh, are strychnine nicotine sulfate magnesium sulfate and potassium chloride the physical methods which are allowed are cervical dislocation in rat mouse and hamster decapitation in mouse and rat exsanguination in all except dog and monkey the methods which are physical methods which are not allowed for euthanasia as per cpcsca are stunning rapid freezing asphyxia and electrocution let us see the breeding of laboratory animals animal breeding is a segment of animal science that addresses the evaluation of genetic value of the domestic livestock a breed is a group of domestic animals with a homogeneous appearance behavior and other characteristics that distinguish it from other animals animal breeding is the process of selective mating of animals with the desirable genetic traits to maintain or enhance these traits in future generation Animal genotypes can be manipulated by breeding and more advanced techniques to produce transgenic traits. Uh, some of the terminologies used are inbred strains. The primary purpose of inbreeding is to reduce the number of individuals that are heterozygous for any one gene pair and to increase the number of homozygosity. The methods of breeding are four. One is uh, hand mating. It is preferable in rabbits and hamsters. Male and female are brought together for a period. for a brief period and separated once the mating is over pair mating the male and females are mated together the rest of their life breeding life in this method in case of uh, mice or rats one male is mate, mated with one female and left together for the rest of their breeding life trio mating trio means three one male is mated with two females harem mating it is applicable in guinea pigs four females are regularly mated with one male female is separated soon after pregnancy is established and replaced with fresh females let us see the breeding data of uh, laboratory animals the estrus cycle is approximately 4 to 5 days in case of mouse rat and hamsters and in guinea pigs it is 16 days the duration of estrus is approximately 10 hours in mouse 13 to 15 hours in rat and hamsters it is 20 hours and guinea pig it is 6 to 11 hours the time after uh, time of ovulation after mating it is 2 to 3 hours in case of uh, the rats and approximately 10 hours for rats hamsters and guinea pigs and it is uh, induced soon after mating in case of rabbits the gestation period is uh, approximately 21 days in mouse and rats 16 days uh, in case of uh, the hamsters 68 days in case of guinea pigs and 30 days in case of rabbits the litter size that is the number of pups mouse it is uh, 6 to 10 and the rat uh, gives rise to 8 to 12 pups hamsters uh, 5 to 8 pups guinea pigs 1 to 4 pups and rabbits it is 4 to 6 the resumption of estrus cycle after parturition it is postpartum in case of uh, that is after delivery in case of mouse rat and hamsters mouse rat and uh, guinea pigs in hamsters it resumes after 1 to 8 days 
and in rabbits uh, the estrus cycle uh, resumes after uh, 35 days the reproductive uh, lifespan is approximately one year in case of mouse rat and hamster and in guinea pigs it is uh, three to uh, four years and rabbits it is two to three years the mammary glands uh, they are present at the thoracic abdomen and pelvic region uh, in this table uh, a dash uh, is uh, represented there are no mammary glands in that region so it is given in the order of thoracic abdomen and pelvic region and there are five mammary glands in case of mouse three in the thoracic cavity and uh, in the abdomen it is uh, one and in the pelvic region it is one in rat uh, the six mammary glands are present three in the thoracic cavity one in the abdomen and one in the pelvic region uh, no, thora no mammary glands are present in the thoracic cavity in case of hamsters, but five uh, mammary glands are present in the abdomen region and one in the pelvic region. In guinea pig, there is only one mammary gland which is present in the pelvic region. And in case of rabbits, there are uh, four mammary glands, one in the thoracic region, two in the abdomen region and one in the pelvic region. What are the problems of inbred strains? Inbred strains actually suffer from inbreeding depression. They become less healthy and more susceptible to infections and have reduced reproductive capacity. And this is overcome by F1 hybrids. F1 are a first generation of a cross between two different inbred strains. Consists of animals that are genetically uniform but are not inbred. The F1 hybrids, unlike the inbred strains, do not suffer from inbreeding depression and they are improved in viability or lifetime so it's a short information of uh, the anesthetics euthanasia and breeding of laboratory animals i hope it will be useful to you thank you for listening happy learning kindly share this to more of your friends if you like this kindly press the like button kindly subscribe to our pharma topics channel kindly go through all the series uh, which is present in the uh, playlist uh, pharmacology and toxicological screening methods. Thank you.